Uh, welcome back guys. So let's quickly uh, go through some documentation because SQLite is ORM and providing a good documentation. So from documentation we can get a good amount of help here. So for getting started uh, SQLite is an NPM module so you need to install it. Uh, so we will do it in our application. Then SQLite support for these three different database MySQL, SQLite, uh, uh, PZ Admin. Uh, so do one thing so we will do installation for mysql okay if you are using yarn as a package manager then do it like this then uh, we need to first what 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 we do if we set up a connection we just uh, get the db credential so we will install the mysql mysql workbench in our local system uh, so i have already that set up so you can see that this is the mysql i have so first you can just uh, go and install the MySQL server and then once you are done with the MySQL server installation uh, you need to reset your password give the appropriate password so while uh, while installing it so while installing you will get a default password so key, remember that password and then install this MySQL, MySQL workbench to connect to your MySQL server okay so you just need to start the application like this. So once you install, you will get the default password. So remember that password, store it somewhere. Then again, you will get, uh, let me just show you that notepad. So you will get some password and then you need to start the server. So you can start the MySQL server like this after the installation is done. Then it will ask you the just uh, your system password and all. Once that is started, you can connect to your MySQL workbench. Uh, default user is root and the password, whatever you have received while doing the default installation, then you can reset the password. That's all, that's it. So right now I have just a uh, one table here a user table and you can see uh, I have a uh, you can see the complete description about it so integer ID is a primary key and this is auto incremented AI not null primary key and password is not null created and updated at is not null so this is just about the table description just a default table description so how to set up a connection first so you need to get the sqlize and then create a sqlize instance by passing the database name username and password name we will kind of configure all these things inside our uh, config json and then we will get it all from there and then finally you need to test your connection using like mongoose.connect was there similarly sqlize.authenticate if you are connected it will say your uh, connection is established okay then later part is we need to define the model so it's the same model which I talked about schema models. So this model is representing your user table in your application in your database. That is a first name and last name of types, both are type string. And whenever you wanted to uh, execute this command, uh, like we already got, so the user is representing the model user dot sync. What it will do? It will create this table again. So there is a force attribute is being passed. So try not to provide it. I, I will talk about that in the code. So what it is doing, it is always going to create your user table in the database. And whenever you, it comes about the query, user.findall, it will give you all the users in the table. So the queries are very easy. So user.findall, user.find, it's kind of the same queries which we talk uh, in Mongoose like uh, user.find, find one, find by ID, all these things. So SQLize, you connect, uh, then you can define the user and then create it. So whenever uh, you do the, any operation, user.find1, user.find or any user.create, everything is being returned as a promise. So SQLize is using Bluebird, Bluebird as a promise library. It's a well-known library. I use it in uh, most of the project. So user.find1, uh, okay, so this one, it always going to return you the promise and then once you got the promise you just do a dot then and this is a success callback and you can have another call another function which is an error callback 
okay either you can use uh, if your transpiler is supporting ES7 then you can also use async await and your lines of code will reduce to a single line okay so let's get started uh, I will just show you the base, basic uh, node.js app then we will uh, do all these things together 